Today we are going to name alkenes and alkynes. Now this is just the same as alkanes, but here we have two bonds and alkynes have three bonds. Let us see this question right over here. How can we name this compound? For that we will start finding the longest sequence of carbons. Let's see, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the longest sequence is 6. Notice that I started from the right side because the bond is closest to the right side. Now 6 carbons means hexane, but in this case because we have two bonds then this will be hexene because this is an alkene. Now we can see at the second number the bond is there. Because we have the bond at the second part you will write 2 hyphen hexene. How about these here, these branches? Well when you have one branch like this it means that this is methyl, but we have three branches. We have at the number 2, and we have at the number 3, and we have at the number 5, the same branch. We will write this like this, and then we will put a hyphen, and then we will write methyl. But because we have 3 of these, we will write trimethyl. And that is how you can simply name the alkene. Now let us try naming the alkyne. Let's say you have this here. How can you name it? First of all, we'll number the longest sequence. We'll start from here. We'll start from the left side because we're, that's where the bond is. We have one, two, three, four, five. Now five carbons means pentane. But because this here has three bonds, it means that this is an alkyne. Instead of pentane, we will have here pentine. Now where is the bond? The bond is at number 1. This means that we will write here 1 hyphen pentine. Now we are not finished yet because we have a branch here. And we know that this branch is methyl. And the branch is at number 3. Because the branch is at number 3, we will write here 3 hyphen methyl hyphen. And that is how you can simply name the alkyne.